Good afternoon, M3 readers. Major motivational moments. Catch me in the van down by the river. Okay. I'm going to go over this uh, million dollar mindset from the millionaire morning. Okay. So let's see some stuff. Before we get into that, the biggest challenge is making money. We're going to just do one thing at a time. <clears throat> So one day, this gentleman, this multimillionaire, posted a question. What's the biggest challenges you face mentally, emotionally, physically in earning income, making money? Here were the 10, <laughs> I love how I said this, 10 top responses, and in my mind, excuses, okay? And what were those excuses? Uh, from people str struggling to make money, struggling to be successful. The rich mindset response. This is BS. Many billionaires and financial people drop out of college or even high school. John D. Rockefeller, Henry Ford, Richard Branch, and just in a name a few. They were taught how to become rich, but they but they learned how to base off a curiosity and clean and a clear desire, you know, to have what they want. And it says, you know, this gentleman has a sports degree, management degree, took him seven years to complete. No one taught me how to grow a business, but out of curiosity, I found information online, turned to my mentors and find that action. So, you know, even uh, uh, Ray Kroc, founder of McDonald's, there's a lot of educated derelicts out there. I'm not saying education is wrong, it's very important. But, you know, my one saying, if you don't have the courage and commitment the courage to step out, the commitment to stick with it. It doesn't matter if you have D C B C A B C D E F G H H J K L M F V after your name. It doesn't matter. I have a friend, perfect example is uh I feel bad. He, he had passed away. It's Jimmy Zucalo. It was Greek. Zucalo, rough dude. Rough dude. We called them back in the day greasers. Um nicest guy though. Nicest guy. He um, finished high school, never went to college, started a, a coffee company, billionaire. But he had the guts and all the courage to do it and be committed to it, no matter how it looked out there. And, um, and then he quit, retired, went down to Florida. In Tampa, he was bored. His wife said, start another company, a coffee company. He started. He said, I'm selling less coffee, Dave, making more money. It was just awesome. So, it doesn't matter the degree, it matters if you have the courage and commitment to stick with it, okay? So, on the Christian aspect, the spiritual aspect of it, doesn't care if you went to seminary or Bible college and stuff like that, or if you've just been a Christian six months or six years or 60 years, it matters what you do with it, okay? So, um, I gave my heart to the Lord in 1972 in, in, uh, at Toledo in college, and um, so that is a long time ago. <laughs> it's 50 years ago to be exact. And, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This thing of, of knowing a lot and having a lot of education and information. Wisdom is knowledge rightly applied. Let me say that again. Wisdom is knowledge rightly applied. Let me say it again. Wisdom is knowledge rightly applied. You're wise if you apply the knowledge, if you utilize that. And also, you take risk, you go out there, step off into the unknown, if you really believe you have a purpose and that's what you're going for. So, you know, don't be scared to go out and visitation, visit people or tell people about God, because guess what? He did a lot for you, and uh, he paved the way um, of salvation. So, have a blessed day, and remember... That mindset is like, get out there and do it. Be who you need to be so you do what you need to do so you have what you need to have, all right? But get prepared. Those who are prepared, they go a long way. It's not about luck. It's where preparation and opportunity meet. So get your game face on every morning. Armor up to stand up, to speak up, to show up, boom, to blow it up with your spirit and wear your heart on a sleeve because it all starts with the heart, okay? It's all about the heart. God bless you, and I do this because you are worth it.